On Wall Street this past week, plenty of chaos. David Pogue explains why. Last week, you might have seen the headlines about something truly whacked out going on in the stock market. Something to do with GameStop, this ailing chain of retail stores that sell video games. For no discernible business reason, its stock shot up hundreds of percent in a matter of days. Allow me to present the explanation. You know the formula for making money in the stock market, right? Buy low, sell high. But it's also possible to make money when a stock goes down. This is called shorting a stock. You're betting that the company's stock will fall. It's a little complicated, but the basics go something like this. When the stock is high, you borrow shares from your brokerage, and then you sell them. Now, of course, technically, you still owe those shares to your brokerage, so you wait for the price of the stock to go down, and then you buy them back for much less money. You return the shares to your brokerage, and you just made money. Unless, of course, the price of the stock went up in the meantime. In that case, you're in trouble. Wall Street doesn't like GameStop much. After all, who's buying video games in a physical store anymore? So the hedge funds had shorted GameStop, bet against it. Then last week, they met their match. If you look at Reddit, namely the forum Wall Street Bets, which has more than 2 million subscribers, there are dozens of forums with traders encouraging each other to push shares higher. People want to take risks and they want to make some money. Jamie Rogozinski started Wall Street Bets, a forum on Reddit.com, in 2012. It's a place where amateur investors talk about quick stock bets. They tend to be snarky, funny, a little reckless. They're not looking at it as, I'm going to lose my money. They see this as, I'm purchasing the possibility of making money with a non-refundable ticket. So last week, a funny thing happened. These amateur investors on Wall Street Bets began to buy up GameStop stock driving its price up, egging each other on. It went bananas, more than 130% on a single day. We don't see things like that on Wall Street. Jill Schlesinger should know. She's my colleague, a CBS News business analyst. She's witnessed how the big brokerage houses refer to mom and pop individual investors, also known as retail investors. Behind closed doors, they call the retail investors the dumb money. And they'd call the institutions, the hedge funds, the private equity people. That was the smart money. The interesting part of this story is that the cost of trading is so low, executing a trade is so easy that you can all of a sudden harness the power of the dumb money to go up against the smart money. Now remember, all those big New York hedge funds had to buy GameStop shares from the market in order to return it, and all the buying they did wound up driving the price even higher. Pretty soon, some of the Reddit investors had made millions on paper, and the hedge funds were in desperate trouble. One of them, Melvin Capital, had to borrow almost $3 billion to cover its GameStop short. The internet went crazy. The little guy had beaten the fat cats. There was a sense of, hoorah, look what we've done. We just knocked over a huge hedge fund, and we're just a bunch of know-nothings, amateurs. Feels good to have one of these guys get knocked out. By the way, it wasn't just GameStop. Something similar is going on with other lame duck companies, like AMC, the movie chain, and BlackBerry. The SEC is investigating, and the story is still unraveling. But some aspects of this tale Jill Schlesinger says, won't change a bit. David, for as long as I've been in this business, there are two dominant forces. There is fear and there is greed. And there is nothing that will legislate that or regulate that away. 